Welcome to this video of the auto review functionality, which is a white space automation scenario. In this video, we will be looking at auto decline and auto refer automation within white space. What we have for this demo is that I've arranged the screens so that the broker is on the left hand side and we have the underwriter logged in on the right hand side so that we can see the interactions nice and easily between the broker and the underwriter during this video. On the broking side, I've already pre-filled in a quote uh, and it's got lots of information already tagged up. And uh, one of the pieces of information that's been tagged up is the limit. So if we have a look at the limit here, uh, what I'm gonna do is gonna set a very large limit because I'm hoping to see a decline for this demonstration. So if I go into here and I just update this to be 20 million, that's a value that I'm pretty sure will be a decline because it's so high. So I press down to that, save that. And now what I'm going to do is uh, show this uh, to the underwriter to request a quote from them. So I'm going to show for quote. I'm going to pick my underwriter. I'm going to pick the right team for that underwriter. And I'm going to uh, press next and show to that carrier. If we have a look at the right hand side here, you can see that quote just came through. So I go into that uh, and then what's happening now is that SQL Hub is picking up that quote and making some decisions. There you go, you can see it's now quickly declined that. It's declined that because the rules that have been set up for this uh, automation for this underwriter has decided that 20 million is too high. Uh, no, uh, under, no actual human underwriter has had to get involved in that decision, it's been uh, automated. And what you can see here is on the broking side, you can see that it is declined and in, uh, including in the chat here, if we have a look, we can see that uh, there's been a chat message sent back from the underwriter to the broker automatically that says this has been a uh, decline for the reason of limit. Now that decision to send that chat back is actually configurable. So if, a if an underwriter does not want to send the particular reasons back, that is configurable within the rules as well. So now that we had a decline for the um, uh, limit that we said, uh, for the broker, let's just reduce that limit now down to, down to a more sensible level to see what happens. So if I now reduce this limit to say 8 million and press done and save that. Now let's resend this quote through to the underwriter to see what happens with it. So again, I'm going to pick my underwriter. I'm going to pick my team. And I'm going to show that to the carrier. And if we have a look on the right hand side for the underwriter, there we go. We can see that the request to quote has come in. It's removed that original decline reason now. It's now going to go through and have a look at that quote and now says, well, actually, rather than being declined, this is now a refer. So um, if you look at the uh, quote, it's now referred for limit. We could uh, scroll down as an underwriter and decide, actually, yes, I'm happy with that. And what I want to do now is actually show that back to the broker. And there we go. We can see obviously we've achieved the quote. So that's a quick demo of how we can automatically decline and automatically refer information uh, within uh, Whitespace. Uh, the decline in particular will save uh, effort when you uh, simply don't have to review anything that is uh, wildly out of appetite. And that's the end of the demo.